we have an exciting topic to discuss, free init technology. It's a revolutionary innovation that aims to bridge the initialization gap in video diffusion models. So let's dive in. Free init technology is a groundbreaking solution that addresses a critical challenge in video diffusion models. These models often struggle with the initialization process, which can lead to suboptimal performance and slow convergence. Free init technology aims to overcome this hurdle and unlock the full potential of video diffusion models. To grasp the significance of free init, we need to understand the initialization gap in video diffusion models. The initialization stage plays a crucial role in setting the foundation for subsequent operations. However, traditional methods often fall short in achieving an optimal initialization, resulting in limited performance and efficiency. Free init technology introduces a novel approach to initialization in video diffusion models. It leverages a combination of pre-training and fine-tuning techniques to bridge the initialization gap effectively. By utilizing pre-trained models and carefully designed training strategies, FreeInit enables video diffusion models to start from a more initialization point, leading to improved performance and faster convergence. The advantages of FreeInit technology are manifold. By addressing the initialization gap, it enhances the overall performance of video diffusion models, enabling them to generate high-quality videos with greater efficiency. This breakthrough has significant implications for various applications, including video editing, content creation, and visual effects production. Free init technology represents a significant step forward in the field of video diffusion models. Its ability to bridge the initialization gap opens up new possibilities for video generation and manipulation. As researchers continue to explore and refine this technology, we can expect even more exciting developments in the future. So here's the result. And that is going to be just using one times loading of 20 sampling steps. And then going back there, we have the previous generations that is loading with iteration 6 using the free init features. And that is running 6 time of the 20 step. That means we got, I did like 120 sampling steps in the previous one. And you can see there's totally six times like the prompt execution in 800 seconds. And then in here, I got 142 seconds. So actually, how do you enable the free init in anime diff using Comfy UI? And it's really easy. So using this workflow as an example here. So let's create another group. So we got better understanding. So first we need an animated loader and then you have your checkpoint models. You can do something like that. Maybe you use juggernaut checkpoint models and you have context options. That is a very standardized one that we use. Obviously, and right here, we need a sampling setting, the sample setting. So the sample setting, when you drag this out in the update animated custom notes, it has this sample setting that is from the Gen 2. As you guys have seen my previous videos, we have talked about the difference of anime diff Gen 1 and Gen 2. So right here, we have the Gen 2 and then the Gen 1. That is the legacy one that it will fade out someday. So we are using the update latest custom notes of this anime diff evolve. Then once you drag this out, the sample settings, first you got to see here confirm this is using comfy. And then the second thing you got to confirm is the noise type. By default, these options, if you're using default, then it's just by using default sampling settings. But if you use this free noise, that will be enabled. The free noise of the free init models the framework to be take place. So in here, they said the DDPM4 and then the noise realizations. And this is going to be happened in here. So let's check out how do they mention in animated. Actually, you can click to config UI manager. If you install this animated diff, you can find that in here using just filter the install. 
and let's see. Mine is right here. Then what you have is let's go search and type free in it. So it's right here. So right here they said the free in it and the free noise support. Free in it is under iterations options. Okay. And then the free noise is in sample settings. Noise type in the drop down. So once you do this, both settings and it will enable the free in it take place in these sampling steps for your element diff generations. So once you have the noise type set as free noise, and then you go to here the iterations options drag this out. You will see these two options for you. So in here, you got to choose this one iterations options free in it. So it will pops out this custom notes here. So in here then that is all set for basically the free in its sampling method with animate diff. So in here, you can set the iterations, how many times you want the sampling to take step and keep looping back and forth like this framework diagram that it mentions. It will refinement again and again. If you set it like two times, you got two times samplings. If you have three times, then you will do one time sampling and two times refinement in here. So that means totally you got three iterations sampling steps. So that's how you do animate diff enable free init framework using in your videos to videos or text to videos generations here. And I have tested also that you can use animate LCM or you can use LCM LoRa. So for example, we have LoRa loader and you can use LCM by default, the SD 1.5 LCM or the anime LCM. If you choose right here, the anime diff loader, you use anime LCM. Then you will have to choose anime LCM LoRa in here. Simple as that. And if you are not using anime LCM, use the one, the LCM LoRa. So for example, I have my SD 1.5 LCM LoRa here. It is also compatible with my settings in the free init sampling settings here. Then once you connect this, and again, you connect to your checkpoint models. And you are ready to go with our motions model version 3. This will be basically it. Yeah, that is how we can use that. And of course, if you enable LCM LoRa's or animate LCM in the loader, it will eventually processing faster. And even you put more iteration steps in here, it will still processing faster. So I have another example that I use at LCM to process videos. So let's see two result. Okay, so here is both of this result. One is using a very simple animated loader and then one case sampler. Even this one is using one sampler as well. So don't expect they are very high detail and the face is very detailed, etc. But then we can see both of them have totally different performance and the output of each animations are going to be different when we take a closer look. Let's bring it side by side with that too. And then we will see. So this one again, this one is coming from the free init features. I'm using uh, literation six, okay? So uh, loop it six time. Basically that will be six time running the sampling step before it pass to the VAE decode. And generate all this image frame. Stitch it back together as an image. And this one is without free in it. And this is just a very simple animative loader running 1K sampler and then go to VAE decode.
okay so both of them are using 1k sampler but then you see there is some difference result here as you can see the backgrounds here it doesn't have any clear backgrounds in the one that without using it and the one that using free in need we see the backgrounds actually is showing the z view and then the beach below the stairs of the building and then you go to here Obviously, the character's outfit are almost the same quality because we have the golden dress IP adapter image. And I know that image are going to be performed very outstanding of the color and the dress style. When you look at this, like zooming out, you cannot tell there's much difference. But if you zoom in here, you will see there is some difference. The golden color on here, the golden color on here is more bright than this one. The one that without using free enid that is kind of look dark in here right and then in this one that is using free in it the color is more shiny and it's more bright and you can see the dress both of them this one got more pattern right on the bottom here that actually showing there's more sampling steps going through on the texture of the character's outfit and also a lot more texture on the backgrounds and also the stairs are very inconsistent rather than here. We are not using the free init. You'll see there are some twists on here. It's not stay in one straight line. And then obviously there's no backgrounds on the back. You're just only seeing a blur. Backgrounds here. But then the color of the outfit is a little darker. It's not like a really sharp bright color or a very clear golden color. And then the bottom of the dress here. You won't see the pattern and the texture of like this is the motion, right? This is the legs stepping forward. And then you see the dress is kind of curved in this direction. But in here, they don't show too much detail of that one. Even we are pausing both of them in almost the same image frame. I cannot say it's exactly the same one. But then, yeah, you can see there's comparison and overall, if you look from zoom out view here, there's some difference. Also on here and here, we got less color and details on the stairs of this side. Yeah, so this is the difference between we are using the free in it and not using it. Check out the full screen and see the difference. Now here's the difference between both of them. And as you can see, their color and the shyness and the sharpness of the character and the stairs as well. Now, I have the other example in here. And as you can see right here, I got the characters from Dragon Ball and try to make that outfit and the background into these animations. Now, this one is the without free in it. And then the right one is using the free in it. Now, both of them are using same sampling step 20, and I'm using three iterations in free in it. So 20 step times three times. So that is the totally I need to run in this generations for this iterations loops here. And that looks like three times, obviously. And as you can see right here, the settings. So there you go. I have the full screen here and you guys can compare, pause the videos and compare as well. And I have two set. Now this is set A and I got the other set. The set B. And you guys can take a look and let me know which one is using free in it or which one is using animated diff only. So that is it for this videos. Talking about the animated with free in it. And this is a pretty cool technique. Add on to animated custom note. And you can just use that right away without installing additional things on top of animated. And that is pretty cool technique to enhance your videos, generate quality, as well as the whole motions of this. But then again, it gives and tick. You have to spend double or triple times of your sampling step to generate videos. So it depends. If you really need that quality, then you will have to take time to do that as well. So hope you enjoy joy and got some inspirations. And I will see you guys in the next videos. Have a nice day. Bye.